Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to do a quick workshop tour while everything's all nice and neat since I just cleaned it in the hopes that it would get me in the mood to start some new summer projects. So I figured I'd go over everything while it's all clean. So I'm going to start off with my workbench, which I zoomed out for just to uh, give you the overview. However, uh, this is where I do most of my work, and I'm sure you recognize this as this is where I film most of my videos. Uh, also, I want to just quick side note, I want to apologize in advance. This might be a little bouncier than usual, so just bear with me here, but that's the nature of these types of videos. So this is where I open up a lot of my blasters and I do most of my work. Uh, it's just a piece of a cutout yoga mat just to give me a little bit better of a working area. It's a little bit easier to work with blasters on. Uh, this really helps a lot too for filming because it gives me a solid color background to work with so that it's not very distracting. Uh, what else? So yeah, this is where I open a lot of my blasters. Uh, I have my iHome over there where my phone usually goes and I listen to music. Uh, I have a few various things back here. Uh, I normally have an X-Acto knife, but I can't. Fi I couldn't find it as I was cleaning, so I just left uh, two normal knives and I'll do the job of deburring. Uh, I have my usual lubricant. Uh, this is rubber safe, so it's good to use with O-rings and various Nerf plasters. Uh, pens and pencils, good for drawing on for cutting. Uh, I have a engineering ruler, which is curved, so you can use it to draw straight lines on things like pipes and curved surfaces. Uh, paper towels are always good. A uh, little cup for screws. Uh, that's pretty much it for my working area. Slightly above that, you'll see I have a lot of my hand tools, so like pliers and wire cutters, various screws that fit the various uh, screw, various screwdrivers that fit the various screws on a bunch of different Nerf blasters, electrical tape and masking tape, sharpies. I have like three pairs of scissors because I always end up losing them. Scribe, not really something that's like necessary for Nerf, but it's good for you. Uh, the tip is hardened metal, and you can use it to, I believe it's steel, so you can draw on, you can etch little lines with a uh, square onto metal and other plastics. Uh, I have a hacksaw, my rot my uh, rotating pipe cutter, which is very helpful for if you make homemades or just need to cut PVC for any of your Nerf projects. Uh, I have robo grips, which are kind of like auto-locking device grips, which are pretty handy. Uh, I don't usually use them on a lot of Nerf stuff. Just because they can, uh, the little teeth tend to rip up the plastic. Vice grips, uh, ruler, some signs, as you can see. Uh, ruler, like I said, up there. Then we have, uh, what this is, it is a ratcheting wire crimper. Uh, it's good if you do a lot of electronic projects. I actually got it for robotics this year because I do the wiring for our robots. But what it does is normally you would have something like that and you'd crimp it via the top piece up there. So like now what you would do with this thing is it actually gets a much tighter grip and you have the three different the red, the blue, and the yellow which are the three different sizes for wire terminals and what you do is it rotates and it actually has a set of gears in it and it puts a lot more pressure onto the actual piece than you would normally be able to and it gets a much better crimp so that's very useful if you um, do a lot of electronic projects I would recommend it uh, especially ones where you use crimps obviously but uh, that's a very, it's a little bit more expensive I think it was like 20 something thirty dollars but if you do it a lot it's definitely worth it to get the secure crimps because I'm sure as many of you know who have done it before it's hard to do and sometimes if you don't do it right it can lead to them falling off easily in the future, which isn't what you want, especially in Nerf blasters, because then you'd have to open it all up again. Uh, square. I have two cutting things, basically. They're kind of like large, like heavy-duty scissors, and they use, like, blades, so that's why they have the sheaths. Uh, various clamps for my drill press, which I'll go over in a second. Uh, various gaming cards. Uh, I have a set of pliers in that have like needle nose pliers and all different sh size and shape heads uh, headphones that are broken uh, the two guides for my belt sander and for my bandsaw another sign that's actually a clock which is pretty cool 
Uh, over here I have my safety stuff, so my good safety glasses. Uh, if you work a lot with stuff like this, I recommend getting a good pair instead of like a cheap pair. It really makes a big difference. Uh, get gl good gloves as well. These are uh, Mechanics gloves, and which is actually the name of the brand. And they're actually leather on the inside, and they're like the cloth on the outside. So they're actually very comfortable, and they're very good. Uh, first aid kit and a multimeter and a Nerf target there and up there. Uh, now going back to some of my tools, uh, first in line we have the drill press. Uh, this is kind of not just for Nerf, I got it for some other stuff as well. But it's very, very useful, uh, very good for getting uh, nice, even, straight drill uh, holes. So that's kind of a really nice tool to have. It's fairly expensive. However, if you're gonna use it for other stuff besides Nerf, or if you make a lot of homemade, I would recommend it. Uh, you can make a lot of cool like barrel spacers and other stuff from that. And I have my drill bits as well, and I also have a set of hole saw bits and spade bits to go with that as well. Uh, up next, I have my upright bandsaw, and I have some bandsaws actually. There are two different kinds. There are ones that actually like you'll put it into a vise and the saw blade will actually come down and cut it or you have the upright one like this where you feed the thing through it uh, this is just a small bench top one however it gets the job done very good for like integrations and other stuff gets very straight cuts I like that a lot uh, one of my favorite tools probably for nerf would be the belt sander just because it's really easy to straighten out uh, like cuts with that or you can do a lot a lot of sanding with that obviously uh, it's a lot more efficient than hand sanding if you need to get a um if you need to like sand a logo off or something uh it's kind of hard to explain unless you have really used one but basically uh it's very very useful for nerf i would highly recommend it if you're getting into uh like more sophisticated mods uh, let me show you my chair real quick uh under here i also have my scroll saw which isn't like again not really something I use for Nerf a lot. Uh, I use it more for like wood and other various projects. But um, it's very useful if you're making like homemade or something like a plus bow, or if you're cutting sheets of polycarbonate and stuff like that. That is a very helpful tool to have. Uh, and then next to that, I have my miter saw, which I got for free because one of my dad's friends was getting rid of it, and I just happened to get it so that's pretty cool uh, again not really something I use for nerf too often because it does spin very fast I use it more to cut uh, like big pieces of wood like the 4x4s you see in the center of the screen now or the 2x4s and 2x6s and whatnot that I use to make this workbench myself so that's very useful uh, I just got this recently it's a organizer as you can see but uh, I still need to fill up a lot of the spaces so that's just kind of under there because I don't really have a place for it right now. Okay, now starting with this small storage thing. Uh, I have a lot of my small pistol type blasters up in this one corner. Uh, moving over, I have some darts, my snap bow, an air blaster I do not remember the name of. Then over there, I have a lot of my missiles and larger ammo. Uh, some more darts. Doesn't look like anything's in there. Uh, magazines and drums, barrel attachments in those three in the corner, raw barrel attachments, marshmallow guns, and my octo shot turret, which I'm just using for like spare CPVC. Behind that, in this huge rubber made rubber made bin, I have a lot of my large blasters and a lot of my stock stuff, as well as like the stray bin and modified elite alpha trooper, and then I have some other large stuff like the two long shots and rampage and rocket launcher leaning up against it just to conserve some space and that's most of my stock blasters and whatnot uh next going over my tool locks i have a lot of random stuff up here uh third arm tool very good for soldering up here i have my leds uh when i bought it it was about 500 and i got it for about ten dollars from a china distributor uh, it's a lot cheaper than going to Radio Shack and buying them like two or three at a time. Definitely recommend it, or buying in bulk online. Uh, a lot of resistors as well, and various ohm readings. Uh, up here I also have a lot of like various glues and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Various screwdrivers. 
Allen wrenches and normal wrenches and whatnot. Various hand tools, various hand tools and like a socket set to pick up that in a second. Uh, stud finder, various manuals, power screwdriver. Use these screws a lot for my homemades, they're very useful. Uh, various screws and nails and extra rivets. Uh, what I just knocked over before was this smiley face clock that I keep meaning to put up. Uh, I like the saw blade clock better, so I changed out the smiley face for the saw blade. Uh, let's see, I have circular saw. My 18 volt lithium ion drill, very useful. Uh, the charger and the two batteries are under the circular saw. Uh, I have my soldering iron. Uh, back here I have my Dremel, or rotary tool rather, because it's not actually a Dremel brand. But, um, very useful tool if you're just getting into modding, I would definitely pick one up. Uh, it does sanding, cutting, small holes, you name it, it pretty much does it. It's kind of a very good tool, it's very diverse in what you could do with it. A uh, hot glue gun, every modder has a hot glue gun. A uh, corded drill, don't use it so much because I have a drill press and like two other hand drills. Uh, speaking of hand drills, there's another one in there. Uh, contractor's tape and some spare wood. Uh, my shop vac, which is very nice for having the belt sander and the bandsaw. Uh, and here I have a lot of just like spare blaster parts and of like other stuff. It's not all just nerf uh, stuff and blanks. Other various nerf pieces and whatnot. Uh, starting from this shelf on the bottom, I have my spray paint and it, spray adhesives and other like matte clear coat and stuff. Uh, small pieces of CPVC and a lot of my polycarbonate is on that shelf. Uh, I have longer lengths of PVC, various sizes. Uh, that is a blaster that doesn't work very well. It only shoots at like four feet, so I'm not going to show you that because I still have to make changes to that. Uh, over here I have pet G and acrylic lengths. Uh, just some junk up there. Pegboard stuff and uh, surgical tubing and some various springs are in that bin. Uh, nothing really on those shelves for Nerf. Uh, my plastic clothespins and vinyl tubing for like air blasters. Uh, plastic clothespins are for homemades. Uh, various new in the box stuff I haven't opened yet. I don't really have a need for. I have this cool futon down here. Uh, the, one of my neighbors was getting rid of a while ago, so I picked it up because it's a good idea. Uh, very comfortable. Uh, I usually just sit on there and think about my blasters. Uh, I have a couple flags down here. There's one, a diving flag, a uh, state flag, two pirate flags, and then the, that's actually a trial American flag for when they were working on the design. That's not the one that got approved, obviously, but um, it's just cool. Uh, over here, uh, I have a computer that I recently stripped apart for pieces, uh, just to take it apart because I have a couple ideas for projects that I might do with that computer. Uh, it's a Windows XP computer, Pentium, the old Pentium 4 processor. Nothing good, uh, well nothing compared to today's standards. Uh, I just built myself a new computer for college that destroys, so I'm not really going to use that for too much. Uh, and then over here I have my airbrush, which is kind of the last thing I want to show you. Uh, various thinned paints, and then I just got this recently. It's just a uh, normal airbrush, and I'm not sure quite how I'm going to use that in other projects, but I'll figure it out in the future. So that's something I just got and I'm working on, so keep that in mind and look for that in the future. Okay, now the only other thing I meant, I forgot to mention was the fluorescent lighting that I have down here. There's two rows of two, and that's just because basements have very poor lighting, and I don't want to go blind, so I got those, and I put them up myself. Uh, other than that, I looking at the timer, I should really start wrapping up, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about specific tools, or if you want me to go make another video where I go over like tools that I use and whatnot it more in depth, uh, let me know, and I'll try to do that. But other than that, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section, and I hope you enjoyed this long, bouncy, and rambly video.